Thank you so much. We are gearing up for more storms that are rolling in and closer to the area. So the roads are going to look like a whole different view and vantage point here in the next 30 minutes. Here's a live picture on our KB Complete Skyview Network at the Orient Hotel in Lawrence. A scary looking sky there, some storm clouds nearby. Here's another shot from the Nebraska Furniture Mart. We just had a shelf cloud roll through. It was such a neat sight. That is an indication of some high winds as the rain cooled air is allowing for the line of storms to roll through and there you go. We've got some lightning strikes nearby at the legends. So here's where the storms are right now, extending from Smithville through parts of Weatherby Lake and into Bonner Springs. The severe thunderstorm warnings extend now on the Missouri side and include Clay County, uh, Jackson County, Missouri and Johnson County, Kansas. So these storms will continue to dive to the southeast, reaching Liberty for you at 706 Kansas City 708 Independence at 719 and eventually approaching Blue Springs closer to 730 this morning. We may notice some really high winds associated with these storms, 60, maybe up to 70 miles per hour. But these storms, non severe, but they do track all the way up into northern Missouri, tracking through Albany and to, to Maysville. But that's not it. This morning we have a second round directly behind the round of storms moving through right now. Currently from Concordia and then into eastern Nebraska, we're noticing additional severe storms that will bring us more rounds of damaging wind gusts, potentially hail and the concern for flash flooding due to the on and off again storm chances. So the timing is now through about noon is when we'll experience these thunderstorms for the morning hours. So be sure you drive extra carefully this morning. We are talking about these downpours that will last for a little while and that could result in ponding of water on the roadways, especially in the poor drainage areas, the low lying areas. I mean, we're talking about one to two inches an hour with these downpours right now. So we have a caution light through 9 a.m. It may not be raining the entire time, but by 9 o'clock we'll be gearing up for round two of those storms. Eight, 83 degrees for the lunch hour. By 3 p.m. we're up to 87. By 1 or 2 o'clock it looks like we'll have some brief dry time out there. And any breaks in the cloud cover, any sunshine we may get, we're talking about some warm temperatures. And that's most likely south of I-74 to Today, 89 peculiar 92 in Warrensburg, but we'll be a little cooler to the north. We're only discussing highs today in the middle 80s out at the airport, but the humidity is going to be such a big factor for us today that we will have to discuss our heat index today. In fact, it will feel like the middle 90s this afternoon and then tomorrow closer to the triple digits as we're discussing humidity levels well into the 70s for our dew points, and that will help to fuel additional thunderstorms in um, our four forecasts for the weekend, especially Saturday night and into Sunday. Thunderstorms are expected and there is a slight risk for severe storms. In fact, that slight risk includes the Kansas City Metro for the day tomorrow. So lots to monitor here on our seven day forecast, including the activity this weekend. 90 on Saturday, but we're down to 82 degrees on Sunday. So storms most likely this morning. Another round most likely coming tomorrow afternoon and evening, eventually drying out next week.